Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be the next edition of the Grittiest Take, where we talk about the great two-game winning streak our Philadelphia Flyers have going up in Canada right now on the Canadian road trip as they look to sweep the Canadian road trip in Calgary tomorrow evening before they return home to play Arizona. So, against the Edmonton Oilers, even though Carter Hart allowed three goals at his home, he played very well, especially early making some key saves on McDavid and their other mm-hmm. start, and then late really manning down the fort as Edmonton, as you would expect the team of that stature to make, made a very good push at the end of that game, and he was able to fend that off really well. Other than him in that game, I would say the star of that game was clearly Cam Atkinson. He had the one that he hit through his legs when he kicked it and was able to score. And then, of course, he also had one that was fortunate that Koskinen let it go through his five hole. But you took advantage of Miko Koskinen and got those two goals. So a great start there when it came to the Edmonton game and being able to get that win. And then there is last night that you have another sentimental thing. Marty Jones back at home in front of his family at a very comfortable arena to him. He's been at for a long time in British Columbia going to Canucks games. His dad's still a part of the organization. So... He grew up kind of entrenched there, so it's nice to see him go back and, of course, look very comfortable there. He made nine shorthanded saves. I would have to, honestly, if we're doing the stars of this game, I'm surprised when you look at it from NHL, they put him as the third. I understand, yeah, Brock Besser played good for Vancouver, but they lost. So, Martin Jones should be the second star of that game, if not the first, because he made nine shorthanded saves. He was key and crucial in that game. The Flyers played a very solid game in that game, other than in the second period, which is where their big bugaboo was when they got out shot 16-5. to Other than that, the shots were even in the third period, and in the first period, they tripled them up almost at 15-4. to So, the Flyers did play a good, complete game in this one, but they were not able to, as I have to grab my charger real quick, they were not able to um, be able to get a few more goals on the board to be able to cushion the lead for Martin Jones, but that didn't matter because Jonesy stepped up for you and he played a hell of a game and was able to perform at a high level, kind of flashback to his days when it came to being that number one netminder, that great star netminder in San Jose a few years back, where like they said on the post game, like Hartsey said, the confidence coming into the season of Jones from fans was not just because of the off preseason game that you can't judge him on. Like they said on Flyers Talk, it doesn't seem like teams care as much about using the preseason for stats and for winning. They care more about just chemistry, and that's about it at this point. And we had a basically the minor league team in against the Bruins. So you couldn't judge him on that if you wanted to go off of the last three year stat. Sure, that's a little bit more to go off of, but now he's getting his rest. He's going to be able to build back up just like a guy that got taxed in Edmonton has in Cam Talbot in his career earlier in his career and now look what he's doing being able to after getting some time being able to just kind of be a journeyman and a backup for a couple teams he reestablished himself so that's what Jones is looking to do as he definitely did a hell of a good job winning against the Bruins in a game and now having a great game Mm -hmm. in British Columbia back at home in Vancouver the Flyers get very much helped out by the great Cam Atkinson who's been in here early on and just dominating and balling and then they get helped out by the great two goaltenders we have this year and Martin Jones so far so good in his two games and Carter Hart who we know is going to continue to get better and grow and be a very good goaltender for us obviously um, when it comes to this game you had Coot score an empty net goal in last game he answers immediately with a quick goal only 22 seconds into this game that he was able to put over the blocker of Yari Halak there then Quinn Hughes was able to score one that was really lucky it went off of the post that went over the back skate of Martin Jones and then that's just kind of what happened there and then you have a beautiful play from Claude Giroux of course, that he was able to pass it off the backboard, was able to bounce to Couturier, who got it over to Van Riemsdyk for a beautiful goal. So these Flyers, our Flyers, are definitely looking great. They're looking sharp on this Canadian road trip as they head to play the Calgary Flames in a little weird road trip. They were in Alberta, left Alberta, went to British Columbia, now have to come back to Alberta to play the Flames. 
and let's see if we can keep those winning ways going. There's no reason to think the Flyers can. I would assume Carter Hart will be back in net tomorrow after having a good tilt against the Oilers. But we have to give a hats off to both of our goalies because both of them are a star of the week, being able to step up at the beginning and especially the end of that game for Carter Hart, who played solid in the middle. Maybe there's one goal he would have wanted to have back. And then for that goal from Martin Jones, that was just bounces. Sometimes bounces don't go your way, and that's what that was. So, great games for both of our goaltenders, great game from Claude Giroux in both of these games too, and very good game from Sean Couturier and Cam Atkinson, who have just been kicking butt as well. And then also JVR, someone that was able to get his first point yesterday, but it should be pointed out, he has been a pretty good four-checker, he's been improving, and you can see at this point of his career, when he knows He's obviously not the same guy he once was being able to skate and do all the other things he could do as a younger cat when you first saw him go to Toronto from our Philadelphia Flyers. So he's adjusting his game, and it seems like he's becoming a very solid play driver and a guy that can kind of do more things we didn't see him do in the end of his career. But this has just been the latest edition of the Gritty's Take, reacting to the great two-game winning streak of Philadelphia Flyers have going on, heading into playing Calgary as they look to sweep the Canadian road trip. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or above on the easy-to-use widget. Let's go, Flyers.